kiss it. <laughs> I wish she would beat my ass. What the heck? What the heck? What? Let's go! Upon entering the Riot Games headquarters, we were greeted by lovely artwork of League of Legends and Valorant and Legends of Runeterra while we waited for our lovely host. Hello! <gasps> Hi! What? What the hell? Going, Lars. Okay. Uh, ready, set, action! I'm Katie Davenport, I work at Riot Games, and I'm the lead marketing writer for League of Legends and Project L, which is our upcoming fighting game. So I'm very excited to <gasps> at Riot for about two years now, hoping to stay here for a while. I really love working here, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? Yeah. Wait, what is this for? <laughs> That's for my blog. This for your blog? For what? You introduce you yourself. Hi, I'm Lars. I'm a software engineer on live services. I'm responsible for keeping servers up and whatnot. So TLDR. It's a little more complicated than that, but wow. Woo. 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 thank you. Is that a bike? They then decided to go ahead and kidnap us and take us to their Canadian themed like little coffee shop. I don't really know, but uh, I just decided to follow them and we went ahead and saw the infamous Annie and Tibbers statue. Oh my gosh. Annie and Tibbers? <gasps> I've seen I've seen this. This is RP for art. So people, players can send us like fan art or whatever and then in exchange we buy them for rp so in case you're missing like five or ten rp to buy a skin you can like draw a little thing and we'll we then proceeded to show us um, Arcane League of Legends in real life and show us the Children of Zom painting from the show, hit show, Arcane League of Legends. What the hell? Live. Yeah. Each area on campus is like themed as a region in Runeterra, so we're in the Goldwater section. And up there, is the frail York, and there's also like the void, Sharima, and then a lot of our meeting rooms are, are named after like champions. Oh, Nautilus, okay. Oh, I see. <laughs> Something. So, do we, do we rotate it? No. no. We then headed over to the Bilgewater Brew, where it was suddenly changed into Timo Horden's themed. Yeah. I didn't know I would see something like that before, but it was pretty cool. Oh, is there a curling stone? <laughs> oh yeah, this is the Canada, the Canada Day thing. <laughs> it's Canada Day? Upon entering the Team of Hordens, I was greeted by this really cool looking bar that made me feel like I was a silly old pirate. With the theme being Canada Day, Team of Hordens had a special exclusive drink, which was ice cold brew topped with whipped cream and Oreos. After getting our cute little drinks, we went ahead and headed over to the Mom's Cafe. Canada, oh can Don't mount the moose. <laughs> Don't mount that means someone tried. Skin like. Oh, thank you. <gasps> I'm in jungle. I'm in jungle. I'm walking to lane. I'm walking to lane. It's so gloomy. I've never heard of the fire lane. I've only heard of mid lane. <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. After putting me in solitary confinement, they went ahead and took me to Noms to finally feed me after I made too many cringe League of Legends jokes. Okay, food time. Welcome to Is this so you remember how to eat? Yeah, so you can like balance out your food. After looking at all the food options that they had there, I went ahead and grabbed some potatoes, zucchini, pizza, and some meatloaf. And some soup, but I honestly don't remember. After eating, we went ahead and headed to the tech bar, and unfortunately, Katie had to go to work. Candy here. So if you like, like to have candy, like, just I love candy. I'll try this. You're so cute. Candy. After deciding what candy I wanted and admiring it for a little too long, we headed over to the PC Bang area, 
and this is where Riot employees can go ahead and go play games, and they had a ton of arcade and tabletop games to choose from. Wow. Hey, yo! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, so cool. Oh, dang. I just unlocked them. I just unlocked them and leave. Really? <laughs> no. These are some of the vending machines that can be found in the Riot headquarters PC Bang, where you can find a lot of Asian snacks such as matcha, milk tea, kapiko, etc. and etc. However, these are the only snacks in the Riot headquarters that are behind a paywall simply because a bunch of interns thought, mm, I love this food, and they ate a bit too much, which ended up taking a lot of the budget. The PC Bang was explained to us as a place where a lot of Riot employees go to hang out to relax and play games maybe after work or to beat the traffic heading home. This next area that we went into was very cool. It was another gaming area, but it had things like consoles, tabletop games, and overall a bunch of really, really cool things. For example, like this cool Dr. Mundo operation table which was a little project that a bunch of the developers made together. In addition to all these cool things, we were also informed that there are actually kind of like clubs in the Riot headquarters. So you can join a K-pop dance club or just like maybe a smash club. This was the arcade machine area and my favorite part was the Dance Dance Revolution in the back that was actually themed to DJ Sona. I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. The next following clips and the rest of the vlog, I was really exhausted because I didn't sleep. I was a bit too excited, so please bear with me. Camp in many different places. Snacks. So you can come here and get snacks. Mm. So many snacks. I tipped a lot. Gummies. No. That's mine. I love matcha. Being a bit of a recharge, we went ahead and headed over to the smoothie bar. At the smoothie bar, they had these really cool sheets where you fill out what you want in your own smoothie and you can also get an acai bowl as well. A lot of the drinks are champion themed and most importantly, there was always a drink of the month. This month, there was the summer pool party smoothie, which had pineapple, mango, guava puree, agave, coconut milk, and yeah, it was very cute and that's what I ordered. Cool After such a fun and eventful day, it was finally time for us to head home. We saw the famous Raito game sign where Porter Robinson was. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I wanted to try something new with my content, so it would mean a lot to me if you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I'll see you all soon!